All right, welcome back to Jim's Guitar Garage, everyone. This episode, we're going to be unboxing this box that came in finally for this guitar that we've been working on for a while. So this had a um, little bit of a unique uh, trip to get here. Ended up going to Guam. It took an extra week to get here. And as you can see, they... Um, you know, Postal Service, USPS held up to their end of the bargain and uh, treated this uh, very fragile. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. So we're going to unbox this in front of the camera just to see. You can see all the nice, uh, you know, it also says top load only, please. But uh, yeah, maybe they thought it was top load with an elephant or something anyways so we're here to open it up so let's get started just in case there's any damage I want to document it and also show you guys what's in the box all right so we have some awesome packing peanuts I'm excited no anyways let's get to it All right, we'll put this over here and I'll slowly open the contents and hopefully nothing will be. Okay, so we've got some Ernie Ball Super Slinkies, which we're gonna put on it. it. Sent me two sets, that was cool. We have, all right. That's what I think it is, yep. We have an input jack. This is by TNT Custom Guitars. We have an obsidian wire kit. This is the STB 500. I guess we'll go over this in more detail, but hopefully you guys can see that. There it is right there. And we'll cover this in more detail as we install it. Or maybe we'll do a separate video. You guys let me know. All right. Next thing. Okay, that's got his address on it. Let's get rid of that. Oh. An EVHD tuna to install on the um, bridge that he sent me earlier, which for those of you who did not see, I will show it to you in a minute. All right, so this was not part of the box, but this is the bridge that we're gonna. This is the bridge that we're gonna install on this guitar. So it is a go to go to GE 1996T and it even has a operation manual for those of you who can there we go you guys should be able to see that so a very nice Floyd Rose style bridge so we will be installing this in the guitar and it comes with all the mounting hardware and everything oh sorry um I forgot to introduce you to our new mascot over here and came with this so that wasn't this wasn't part of the box this was something separate so but obviously we will be installing this in the guitar all right so back to the box the next thing okay, we got a big box in here hope i don't miss anything i'm just going to start pulling parts out Hopefully not litter my whole garage with packing peanuts. Okay, there's the peak guard. There's another part here. Okay, I think we're all set. So, let 
Next thing we have is neck plate. And this one actually has a little black um, rubber pad on the back, so that'll be perfect. Yeah, this is like, I don't know about you guys, but this is like Christmas for me. Okay, we've got three. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Kaish music. So he sent me over these, so we might we might go with these uh, knobs. We'll see. We've got a couple of different ones that we're we're um, entertaining doing, so we'll see how they look. If not, I also have some clear PRS knobs that we discussed using. And we've got some, okay, these are the pit guard screws. So I'm gonna take everything out of these little packages so I don't accidentally throw anything away. And then we've got newspaper, all right. Okay, this should be the good one here. All right. All right, I'm not gonna not gonna open up the the other one because it's the same thing. But we have Bill Lawrence L500C pickups that are going in this. And a Bill Lawrence L298. This is a, looks like a stack single coil because of the thickness. So hopefully you guys can read that. And then the same thing is going in the bridge and neck is both this, the L500. So these are the made in USA ones. I don't know if there is, but I know that there was a split and then uh, apparently um, Bill's wife and family was making the pickups for a while to continue it on. And then another guy also has rights to the name. So I'm not sure which ones these were, but they're about the same price and apparently sound almost exactly the same. So. So that's exciting. So these are some nice pickups. And then last but not least, or at least I think it's last. I have to dig through the box again just to make sure. Is a pit guard. And we are going with, you guys probably could already see through it. We are going with a black pit guard for this so give me a few minutes I'll set this up real quick well me and Rick and um, kind of give you a quick I guess snapshot of what it's gonna look like I'll put the pickups and stuff in and then we'll and, uh, set the bridge in place and then see what this thing is gonna look like all right so we're back as you can see we've activated the sky cam so this is going to give you a pretty good uh, indication of what this guitar is going to look like once we put it all together. Let me go ahead and grab the neck out of our secret storage locker over here. And for those of you who haven't seen the show before, we did a full show on this neck. It was actually stained this kind of weird red. So hopefully you guys can make that out with this lighting here. And um, we redid all the frets on this. This is a, once again, thank you, Warm Off, for making excellent products. So that was the color right here that this thing used to be. It was kind of a rust color. So we, I stripped that off and um, sanded it all down, smoothed everything out, and redid it. So when everything gets put together, that's what it's going to look like. 
All right, so stay tuned for more on this guitar. We are gonna put this thing together and get this thing back to my brother. All right, aloha. All right, welcome back to the channel. So here we're gonna start putting the um, pickups in the pit guard. So once again, these are Bill Lawrence pickups. So I had to do a little research um, real quick and they have, I believe it's four different models. So this, if you can read that, is a 500C, L500C. This one is a L500L. Hopefully you guys are able to make that out. Okay, and then this is the stack single coil for the middle. So I found out that they go in four different levels there's a c which is the cleanest one then there's a r which i guess basically is a rhythm one is your your next level of um you know hotness or whatever and then it goes l and then xl so this one is going to go in our neck position so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start mounting these things up and i am probably going to fast forward this because i don't think we want to um, watch me install pickups in a pit guard and since he got the um, zebras the zebras do not um, have a reverse zebra so this is what it's going to look like when it's all together and then we'll put the um, obsidian wire thing in here and then I'll show you how to wire that up so I'm going to go ahead and install these real quick um, I guess I can show you a little bit on the first one. So these have, they come with these little rubber pieces that go in between here. So all you do is slip that over it. So it comes with these neat little tab that sticks up and you just slip that right over it. Go ahead and pull these two out. And then we're just going to start screwing it right in through here. Okay, so the pickups are in. I adjusted the pickups just a little bit higher than the um, than flush with the pick guard. So now we're going to go ahead and pull out the obsidian wire harness, and we're going to start to install that. But first thing we need to do is poke some holes in here. again this subsidian wire kit comes with all the hardware in this little bag as most of you probably saw in my in my other video and it also comes with this output jack all pre-wired
All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our um, output jack into the plate. So let me move this up here. And we've run into our first problem. This is a import plate. This is size for American, so it does not fit. So we're going to have to drill this out, or I might be able to get this thing to screw in. I've done that before with one of these before. I was actually able to thread it in. It was so tight. Okay, looks like we're going to have to redrill this. Okay, so we'll get back to this after I redrill this. And then we'll install this, and then we'll start um, our next step, putting this guitar together. All right, so we're back. So one of the things that I wanted to um, give guys a little little tip on that I've learned. Okay, we got the thing to fit in here. So one of the tips is if you're trying to drill this out, don't use a drill bit like this. Don't use a if you have a metal reamer, that's fine. But um, my suggestion is use a bit like this. So all I did was just drill both sides and widen it just enough. The other thing that this thing doesn't come with, I noticed, and I double checked the bag inside, is it doesn't come with one of these. The infamous um, lock washer. So it does have this washer, which has three little dimples in it. Hopefully you guys can make that out. Um, which really doesn't do any good. So luckily I found one of these in my little bag of nuts, bolts, and screws. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. And then we'll put this washer on the outside. And the screw and then Go ahead and use our handy tool here. Go ahead and secure that down. Now there's many ways that people prefer to put these. If I'm putting it in a guitar like this and it's pre-wired, I wanna make sure that these wires are out of the way. So I'm gonna face the um, jack towards the bottom like this. Some of, the, some of these are not drill deep enough in these or they don't go back far enough so we'll see with this one we might have to turn it if anything I'll turn it sideways like this and have the have the wires facing this way and then they're gonna feed right in like this so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this like this for now I'm not gonna go too tight because I might have to shift it once I go to put it in all right so we're gonna stop right there for now for those of you who didn't notice I did put his knobs that he wanted on so adds a little touch of uh, bling to it. Actually looks pretty nice. I thought it wasn't gonna go with it, but it actually adds a little bit to it, but we'll see. Uh All right, welcome back to Jim's Guitar Garage. We solved the issue with this last night by re-drilling that hole with that bit I showed you guys last night. And I was able to locate the switch tip so we now have a black switch tip on here but now we have run into issue number two these little tabs that stick out on these pickups the center one is fine but the two humbuckers these little tabs right here you can see where the orange is that's your version of the little spring stick out too far because i went to test fit them just to see how it would look in here and they are making contact so what i've done so hopefully you guys can see this i've marked see a little black mark right here so i'm going to remove that material with a good old dremel with this bit on it and we'll see how that works i uh, definitely recommend a good pair of safety glasses if you're going to be creating a lot of dust i would use um, 
I would definitely recommend a good dust mask. So we're gonna place that pit guard off to the side and we're gonna start grinding away at this. All right, so I will mute this. So if you're wearing headphones, you might wanna turn down your volume or mute it right now. It might get a little loud. All right, now let's try it and see if this thing will fit. All right, we're gonna have to go a little bit further with it. All right, and we almost have success. We got to do a little bit more grinding, so I'll get back at it, and then um, we will finish this up. There's still a little bit right here, and in the bridge, it hasn't quite cleared it yet. All right, so let me do some more grinding, and then we'll come back. 